Se brakate yahawa, brakate o shay, brakate yahawa, brakate o shay, brakate yahawa, brakate o shay. First and foremost, we want to give our praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Raka Kodash, double honor to the apostles and elders who rule well at written in stone, and a blessed sanitation to the Akims and the folk and the world to push in the gospel and sincerity in church. Shalom. Alright, I want to um, do a, a little lesson in Acts chapter 10. Alright, I want to start from verse. Um, start from um, verse. Um, basically, the. What I want to get at is uh, verse 15, right? For, verse 12 and verse 15, right? To give the understanding, right? You know, this wacky tacky ass question saying that you know you can eat any any beast clean or unclean, and that is not that is not correct. That's 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 blasphemy according to the scriptures, right? And in Acts chapter 10, verse, um, verse 12 to 15, we're speaking about man, right? And if you go into the word common, the word common go back to what unclean. Right, defile a profane, right? An animal can be profane, right? A profane me outside the temple, right? So we're speaking about man, right? So let me just get some understanding, right? Because this is this is a Cornelius, right? The centurion, which was which also was an Israelite, right? Israelite foreigners, a Israelite foreigner. Right, and he he, he was praying to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and, and the angel appeared unto him and said, Yo, your prayers and your arms come up for a memorial before Yahweh. Right? And no we know no healing don't pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh because the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is dreadful among the healing. We know no healing are just right and no healing the healing thing get these laws. So we know we know through the scripture that Cornelius is an Israelite, the Israelite far enough. Right, yeah, it's like far enough. Right, um, this is Isaiah, right, Isaiah 28 and 9. He said, On he said, Whom shall he teach knowledge, and whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breasts, from the breasts, right? So, the milk is the scripture for us, Peter 2 and 2, right. You gotta be a child to understand this, these these parables, this dark saying. You gotta be a child, right? It wasn't speaking about no meat eating, no unclean meat. The Mosai, the Mosai said, "This is the meat you can eat, and this is the meat that you can't eat." Think the Mosai gonna come back now the next book saying you can eat unclean meat? No, the Mosai is not the art of confusion, right? Verse verse ten: For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. And that's how we gain understanding, as our fourth father King David say, through thy precept I gain understanding, therefore I hate every false way. Psalms 119 verse 104. Right? So through the precept we can get understand that this was speaking about man. Right? So the Cornelius sent his two servants. The angel commanded Cornelius to send and send go and send his servant unto Peter. Right? And Peter can tell him what they need to do because these were Israelites who were cast away. The most I cast away of cast them out of his sight, which they were they were dwelling in the land of Samaria. They were the ten tribes, right? That the most I make the Assyrian, right? Which shall shall Nessar, shall Manessar take away, right? So these were the Israelite foreigners that were scattered among the heathens because Judah didn't scatter yet, which is Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, they didn't scatter yet. They were still dwelling in Jerusalem, right? So you gotta know the history. So you you walk it up. You ask question of no right dealing with these scriptures because you have no understanding. You need to be taught, right? This is Acts chapter ten and start from verse um and start from verse eleven and and saw heaven open and it curtain and a curtain vessel descending unto him, right? As it be a great sheet knit at the four corner and let down to the earth. He said, wherein were all manner of four-footed beasts of of the earth, and wild beasts, and creeping things, and fowls, and fowls of the air. And and there came a voice to Peter, Salak, Salak, and there came a voice to him, Rise, Peter, kill, and eat. But Peter said, Not so, Lord, for I have never eaten anything that is common or unclean. 
right? Verse 15. And the voice speak unto him again the second time, What the Mosai had cleansed, that call not thou on Come on. But Peter, Peter keep the laws. Peter keep the laws. Peter did not defile. But they were speaking about man, and we can prove it through the scriptures. So there's go off on verse 15 when it said the voice came. And the voice speak unto him again a second time, what the most I had cleansed, that call not thou common. And when you go into this word common, right, in the, in the um, blue letter Bible, right? Strong right? G, 2840, Kainao. Kainao. Kainao is the Greek word. Kainao is the Greek word for common, right? It said defile call common pollute unclean make common to make the levitical unclean render unhollow defile profane the animal already make an animal already there are animal that, that that created to be unclean beasts because their purpose is a is a clean of the earth right so an animal can be profane this profane me out of the temple they were speaking about man right they were speaking about man and these people were israelite right so let me just get an, an example showing that what the Israelite was doing made the most I call them beasts. Made the most I show Peter the vision that are uh, kind of manner on, on four footed beasts. And this is what it was doing. Right? And um, this is Ezekiel chapter 8. And I'm going to start from verse 6. He, he said, Furthermore unto me, son of man, seest thou what they do, even the great abomination that the house of Israel committed? committed here that I should go far off from my sanctuary but turn thee yet again and thou shalt see great abomination for seven and he brought me to the door of the court and when I looked behold a hole in the wall then said he unto me son of man dig now in the wall and when I had dig it in the wall behold a door and he said unto me go in and behold the wicked abomination that they do here. So I went in and saw, and behold, every form of creeping things. And this other was acting like beasts. Right? And so I went in and saw, and behold, every form of creeping things and abom and abominable beasts. And and all idols of the house of Israel portray upon the wall wrong and about. And this were you wacky tacky ass Christian new today. You acting like beasts. You pastors are beasts, right? You walking on four. You're not walking upright because you had said the last on the way with. So you're not keeping the last of your Bashem Yahushua. So you are acting like beasts. So the, the Israelites who are not keeping the last, they, they are beasts in the eyes of the Most High. They, they're not walking upright. When you keep the Most High last to your best ability, you're walking upright. So when you're not walking the last of your Bashem Yahushua, you're a beast, right? It's a beast. All right, this is um Second Peter. All right, Second Peter two and twelve. He said, "But these, as natural brute beasts, make to be taken and destroyed, speaking evil of things that they that they understand not, and shall utterly perish in their own corruption." And these is these is these is you 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 scoffers on the coming boards, you know, who scoffing against our our beloved El. Elder Apostle Tahar and all the other, other apostles coming down in the sincere Akiyams out there, you know, who do the works of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh in sincere the truth, you are scoffing against these men. So y'all are brute beasts, right? Y'all are against, against the doctrine of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh So y'all are acting like beasts. So he was speaking about men, profane men that out of the temple, right? Out of the temple. Let me get a say, this is um, Psalms. Salakio, let me get this in Psalms. Right? Let me get this in Psalms quick, right? Psalm 73. Psalm 73, verse 22. So foolish was I and ignorant, not knowing, I was as a beast before thee. So he was he was he was ignorant, not knowing who he is. Not keeping the laws of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, so he was a, he was a, was as a beast. And when we fall these other nation, we became beasts because these other nation are beasts. They don't have the laws of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, so they are beasts, right? 
this is um they are beasts so we follow these other nations like the so-called white man the so-called africans the so-called east indians we being beasts right the so-called arabs we being beasts because we follow in beasts because they live as beasts right this is Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 18 I said in my heart concerning the estate of the sons of men the other, the other, the other heathen nations right the heathen nation that the most I might manifest them and that they might see that they themselves are beasts right they are beasts right so we back in Acts chapter 10 and we jump to verse 28 and you can prove that man he was talking to so like a man he was referring to men that were living as beasts now the most I cleansed them which is the Israelites, the Israelites. So Cornelius was an Israelite, right? Acts chapter 10, verse 28. And he said unto them, He know how that it is an unlawful thing for a man that is a Jew to keep company or come unto another nation. This other nation go back to the Israelites because in the, in the, the time of Solomon, before Solomon died, the most I rent the temple, rent, rent the kingdom and give Jeroboam. Ten tribes and leave and leave the tribe of Judah in Israel, right? So they, 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 had, they had a split. So these were these were these were the ten tribes, which which was called Israel, which is the so-called Latinos and the Native Indians, so-called Native Indian. And Judah was Judah, Benjamin and Levi, right? It's a for a man that is a Jew to keep company or come unto another nation right because they were acting like beasts so the jews then we some mix with them which is judah benjamin and levi then we some mix with the brothers because they were living as they were living as gentile as they was walking the ones of these other heathen nation right he said but yahweh had shown me that i should not call any man common or unclean because the most i the most the most i the most i the most i started to show mercy on the on the on the tribe that was scattered the most i started bringing back in the elect from those one were scattered and so there was the beginning with cornelius cornelius is a, is a hebrew israelite he's an israelite foreigner right so they were speaking a matter of fact that was an example in the scriptures right how the most i cleanse isaiah right how we can get that right show the most i cleanse isaiah this is isaiah chapter 6 right Isaiah chapter 6 and we start from verse 5 Then said I, Woe is me, for I am undone Because I am a man of unclean lips, he's a sinner Right? We are filthy before the Most High Right? And I dwell in the midst of un people of unclean lips You know, the, the Israelites, especially to taught our people They are unclean, they are living as beasts Right? For my eyes have seen the king, Yahweh Shai is the king The Lord of hosts Right? You see, I was sharing a vision. <clears throat> then flew, then flew one of the sur the, the seraphim unto me, having a life coat in his hand, which he had taken in the tons from off the altar, and he lay it upon my mouth, and said, Lo, this had touched thy lips, and thy iniquity is taken away, and thy sins purged. Yes, so it, the most I poured his sin. So. Let me read back um, Acts, Acts 10 and 15. He said, And the voice speak unto him again the second time, What Yahweh had cleansed, that call not thou common. So, the most I cleansing the Hebrew Israelite, the elect of the nation of Israel, the most I cleansed, the, 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 the 144,000 in one third, the most I can clean, the most I can wipe away the sins. Right? And this and this is this, this we be seen in the earth right now. The great awakening of the elect of the, the nation, the nation of the, the, the Israelites, two thirds of people can be destroyed, right? And this is a straight cut for you, wacky tacky ass Christian, because you saying pray over the meat and eat it and, and it can be clean. This is a straight cut for you, wacky tacky ass Christian, right? Formating all over the scriptures every day, you know, don't have no understanding of the scriptures. Right? This is this is Job 14 and 4. Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean thing? Not one. So the most I create is unclean beasts to clean up the earth, not to eat. Right? He wasn't created to eat. Right? This is Agai. Let me get this one in Agai too. This is another straight cut. Right? This is another straight cut. Right? Let me get this one in. This is um Yeah, this is Agai chapter 2. It started uh, for us, um, um, 
this is uh, right up to 2 verse 11. Thus said the Lord of the hosts, ask, ask now the priests concerning the Lord, saying, if one, if, one, if one bear holy fish in the skirt of his garment, and with his skirt do touch bread, or pottage, or, or wine, or oil, or any meat, shall it be holy? And the priest answered and said, no, no. No, you can't bring, you can't make no clean thing come clean with the most I make unclean. The most I make the unclean, the beast, so you can't make the clean. Right? Verse 13, then said Agai, if one that is unclean by the dead body touch any of these, shall it be unclean? And the priest answered and said, it shall be unclean, it shall be unclean. So the most I make these beasts unclean. So you reprobate pastors and you and your congregation, you all have good beasts. Right, this scripture referring to you, you are a brute beast, you are walking on all four, you are not walking upright because you are teaching the Lord on the way with, you are teaching the name Jesus, the Messiah name is not Jesus, so you are an unclean beast, right? And then like Ezekiel chapter 8, verse 7 going down, was speaking to you, walking that you as Christians, all the wickedness and abomination you are doing, so the most I call you a beast, so in Acts, it was speaking about about men, the Israelite men who are who, who the Mosai who the Mosai show mercy and bring them wake them up back to who they are, right? To know that they're Israelite, to know that they gotta turn back to the last statutes and commandment and keep it to the best ability. Right? And with that hope is the fire and we want to give our praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders who rule well at the Christmas stone. And a blessed sanitation to the Akiyam, to the folk and the earth, to push in the gospel in sincerity and truth, shalom.